Hi, welcome to Chuck's Corner. We have an interesting subject as usual. This is ball magic, something really out of the ordinary. Magicians have been using balls for many, many years, but let me get a quick drink of coffee first of all. Ah, compliments of Sherry. She probably makes the best coffee the world has ever known, all right? <laughs> but let me tell you a little bit about ball or sphere magic. If you go back many, many years, you will know, you, I'm sure you've seen it many times, uh, the big floating ball. I mean, that's a common, common uh, magic type of an effect. And I also use one. Uh, I didn't bring that big of an effect here today, but it's a big silver ball that usually floats around the stage. It's really cool. It'll come behind the cloth. Uh, there's different versions of it. One is called the zombie. And it's uh, why they name it that, I really have no idea, but it's a cool effect. It's a floating silver type of ball. Uh, plus, uh, magicians have used balls for many, many years because it's a common item. You know what, like different uh, rubber balls, uh, different type of plastic balls, and they come in a variety of different colors. So that's what's cool about it too. All right, so we're gonna do a couple quick things here if I can, just to show you a few things here. And I'm gonna turn a little side, which you might not be able to see this very well, but here's a silver ball. And look, it multiplies into two. Now we're gonna take this off, give it a tap. Watch, I give it a shake, it goes back into one. Oh my goodness, look at this, it appears over here. Now watch, we give it another shake, and it appears again. And we'll place it right here like so. Now if I was to pass my hand over it, watch what happens. Wow, it multiplies into three, can you see that? And what's cool about this is we're going to get these, get these balls, all right, and we'll take away one of them right here. If I was to twirl them around, watch what happens. It goes into four. So there you have the standard multiplying ball effect, which is a classic of magic. All right, we'll put those down over here. Now this is more of, that, that was more of a stage type of a thing. Now here we're gonna move along to more of a close up, okay? What I have here happens to be three little balls, all right? And we're going to lay them out onto the table like so. And I'm going to get this glass, which is solid. It can be examined. We're going to, to close it with a silver cup and place it inside of the holder. Now these balls will go one by one. You probably won't hear it, you probably won't see it, but watch. Here's ball number one. Oh my goodness, look at that, wow. Well, the wonders never cease. Now we're gonna take this ball, all right, and place it back into the cup. And we'll cover it back up. So that's ball number one. Here we have ball number two, watch. It defies the laws of physics because it goes right through. Simply amazing. Now we're going to take these two balls, place them into the glass and cover it up. Now the third one is always the hardest to go for some reason. I don't know why, but it usually is. All right, watch. Bam. So here we have, let's see, what we have here is uh, three balls, an empty cup, and we'll just place them all down there since it fell off, <laughs> and everything is empty and can be examined. It's a really cool effect. This is known as a chop cup in magic. All right, and uh, it's almost like the cups and balls, but it's a single cup. All right, so there you have a classic of magic as well. Now we're going to do something in the realm of ball magic that is totally out of the ordinary. Uh, inside of my pocket here, I have, a, I have a Japanese rice ball, and it needs blown up. Watch. What's cool about this ball, if you lay it on your table and you pass your hand over it, it'll slowly start to move. It's almost imperceptible, but you can see it. All right, and what's cool is it'll start to float. And what's really neat about this, if you take it, it'll balance on your fingers, okay? And watch, it'll roll back and forth. Oh my goodness, look at that. So that is the mystery of the floating and levitating Chinese paper ball. I hope you learned some magic today. Hope you've had a great time. Thanks for stopping by.